28th of May 2016, a 17-year-old gorilla called Harambe was shot and killed in the Cincinnati Zoo. What led to the incident was a child fell into the gorilla enclosure and Harambe took a stance over him and the terrified crowd exacerbated the situation. Primate behaviourologists believe that Harambe was taking a defensive stance, putting himself between uh, the child and what it deemed was a threat, the hysterical cries of the onlooking crowd. When Harambe dragged the child through the water, this is something that gorillas do to their young uh, as they drag them and then scoop them up into a carry. Furthermore, Harambe was looking for other ways of carrying the child as seen in video footage which you can find online. From uh, grasping at the child's arm before deciding to hold on to the child's t-shirt instead. Harambe was not a father, he never sired any gorillas, so his parent instinct was being formed at that moment. Harambe was shot and killed. This led to many memes and jokes online with people some more serious than others. The day of uploading this video marks the fourth anniversary of Harambe's death. For this I would like to show you how to paint a gorilla. The model I'm painting is Tonga from Mantic Games Mars Attacks Extermination Expansion. But these techniques can be used for any gorilla model you may have. I'll be using only three colours to paint the model and I'll be using Citadel paints but any brand of paint can be used so long as you have black, dark grey and light grey. There are no best paints to use for model painting. I have a large mixture of brands and for the most part they will do the same job. Even if you don't have the grey paints you can mix your own and have a really unique mix of tones. I had already undercoated the model in grey, but I'm going to redo it with black. This can be done with a brush or an airbrush. Since I have a few other things to undercoat black, I'll be using my airbrush to save some time, but by all means, use whatever method you are comfortable with. Now the model is painted black. I've done a couple of coats of it with my airbrush to get a good solid colour. If you're using a brush it may take a couple more coats to get a solid coat, depending on how thin you paint this. We're now ready to use the dark grey paint, in my case Eschen Grey. I add some to my palette and add a little water just to thin it down a little. Then I start to paint the skin, leaving a little black showing where the skin meets the hair, the ground or the recesses between the fingers. I paint the model's hands, feet, chest and face with this grey. On this particular model, I don't paint the underside of the chest or stomach because the pose is hunched over and you won't really see it. If the model was standing up in a way where more could be seen, I'd have painted more of those areas. Just think about where the light is able to hit your model. After the dark grey is dried, I'll add the light grey to the palette. Here I'm using Dawnstone. Then we paint the highlights of the areas we've just painted with the dark grey. Think about where the light will hit again, and we'll paint the highest points. Things like the knuckles and the facial features are the main areas, but also add a little line to the upper areas of the chest. On the face we want to highlight the cheeks, upper lip and nose. Girls also have a very light grey eyebrows so make sure to get those two. Once the highlights are dried, get your dry brush. I use cheap makeup brushes I got at Wilco's for a couple of pound. The soft bristles are perfect for dry brushing and this one I'm using is the Smoky Eye Duo brush. It has an angle brush on one side which allows for more precise dry brushing. Just load it up with light grey Work it into the bristles with a paper towel until it's almost gone, then set about dry brushing the back of the model.
Gently brush the tips of the brush over the model. You'll begin to build up a light grey highlight on the hair of the gorilla's back. Moving further down the back, you can get a little harder with the brushing and really build up the silvery grey hair on the lower half. Also brush down the side of the model and on the arms and legs slightly. Once that's done, this model is complete. Paint the base how you'd like to match your game, then paint the rim of the base just to clean it up, and you've got a gorilla Harambe will be smiling down on. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, and hit subscribe to easily see my next video. Or don't. Whatever. You're your own person, do what you like.